Hey folks, it's Billy DKY, the truth seeker that simplifies and demystifies. This is going to be the video, How Should School Be? Okay, we're going to start off a little philosophical, a little too spiritual, but then we're going to get down to the details because you really sort of need to get this first. Again, everything is nothing but energy. So the way I like to look at it, it's like a big ball of energy and it's expanding all the time. So, so you're nothing but energy. Each day, your, your, your mind is ready for a certain question. You know, based on what you've learned up to that point, your mind is ready for a certain question. You don't need to have somebody tell you what that question is. You already know what the question is. You'll, throughout that day, you're going to be asking something, you're learning something, and that's going to allow you to expand, you to grow, that energy to grow. So, what each person needs to learn in that day is dependent upon that person, what they've learned up to that point, and if you try to interfere with it by making them learn a bunch of shit that they don't want to learn anyway, you're, you're actually interfering with the process. You'd have been better off leaving them alone completely. As you can tell, I, I am not a fan of school. I, school is so rigid, it's boring as hell. School should never be boring. Learning is one of the most exciting things in life. I can't... I, oh, I hate school to fucking passion! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get that out. So my point is, it's not about dictating what a person should learn. If I, I mean, I'm, a, I, I'm basically a master mathematician, you know, and I don't, I don't ever need to use it everywhere in my, anywhere in my everyday life. It's all I've ever needed to do is add, subtract, multiply, divide. That's it. I didn't need to know calculus. I didn't need to know multiverbal calculus. Again, do not dictate. But facilitate, facilitate that person and what questions they need to answer for that day. You know what I'm saying? Okay, man, I got a little off. Yeah. And it's like if you watch the dog whisper, what's he do? He comes in, he don't he don't have a plan of what he's gonna do. I mean he knows he's gonna deal with the dog and help him out, help the people out. He knows he knows the people are the problem because the dog problem not the problem, the dog's not the leader, it's the follower. What he does, he comes in, he pays attention to what the dog's doing to see what the dog needs. He pays attention to what the owners need to learn. It's all about paying attention and questioning things and helping people, you know? And and this goes into a point, if you can't teach yourself, you don't have no damn business teaching kids anything. You know what I'm saying? If you're stupid, at least be smart enough to know you're stupid and shut the fuck up and don't teach nobody nothing. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm going to cuss a little bit. I, school is... You know how many years I've sat in a classroom? I didn't want to be sitting in no damn classroom. That shit is boring. Here's what kids need to be doing. Now, each kid's obviously an individual. Individual, and you need to figure out what you... You know, maybe you got some little whitey-white kid that all they do want to do is read a damn book. Put them in a damn classroom. That's fine. Let them stay inside where the wind ain't touching them. They, you know, they don't have no experience with direct experience with reality that's fine put them in a damn book you know bookstore or library or whatever that's fine that's fine with me but most kids what i've noticed is most kids want to play at least three to four hours a day at school i wouldn't have them sitting in a boring ass classroom with a damn book that is so boring you sit there looking at a book that shit is boring i hated it with a passion then they want to put kids on riddling Oh, the kid's got too much energy. Oh, my God, he can't control himself. No shit, he can't control himself. He ain't getting to fucking play, which that's what he fucking needs to do. Look at lions when the little cubs, they fucking want to play all day long. That's what the fuck they want to do. Play and learn. That's what it's about. Jesus fucking Christ. Let the kids play. You know what I'm saying? What's, what, what's one of the most important skills you're going to learn like? Social skills. Put the kids out there. Let them play. Let them work out their differences. You know, manage it. Make sure that, you know, nobody's getting beat down or nothing. But, you know, and no kids falling too far out in the anti-social group. Drag them back in. you got to get in and play with everybody, you know. And facilitate. Let them work off. The, and some woman told me this. We, my mom has a pit bull. And I was telling her how much energy the dog had. She goes, oh, do you know they make a pill for that? I was like, no. So see, she don't need a damn pill. What she needs is for me to put a leash on her and get on the bicycle and ride her a couple miles to wear her out. That's what she needs. That's a fucking gift. That ain't a goddamn curse. Having too much energy. You got too much energy. Guarantee you give me a bunch of kids on real and I could change their fucking life if you let me deal with them the way I need to. 
sorry. I'm, I'm not, it's a little emotional. I mean, you know, shit's been put on me for years. I've been constrained, sitting my little ass in a chair with a desk. I didn't want to be sitting. Let me go outside. Let me ask questions. Let me play. Let me do things. Put me in situations where I have to learn stuff from other people and I have to deal with people and get along. And say, anyway. You know, and I'm not saying we don't need structure because you definitely need structure. You ain't going to get to do everything you want to do in life. You're not going to be able to answer every question you want to answer when you need it answered. But you need to learn, at least learn how to do that and how to facilitate. So, you know, to me, half your day is free spirited kind of stuff, other half may be structured. I only got to play 45 to 50 minutes a day when I was a kid in school. It's ridiculous is what the hell it is. And your best teacher is not a damn book. It's reality. I, I, was a t I actually did do some teaching. It was so boring I could not do it. I was going to be a high school teacher, math teacher. I thought of well, I was I was thinking about it. And I actually did the student teaching. It was so damn boring there's no way in hell I could do it. I was like, this is too boring. I, I'll go crazy. It's boring as hell. They wouldn't let me do what I want to do, you know? Boring shit. Okay, now while I was doing this student teaching, I had a homeschool kid come in there. That kid was so bass act, bass act. I'm screwing. He was so fucking backwards. It was crazy. He couldn't. He didn't know how to get along with people. He's, he's just like he's out of place. He didn't. We didn't have social skills. Again, teach people how to learn for themselves. You don't have to feel almighty and important and have them dependent upon you. It's the same way with these fucking preachers. Same with Jesus. Oh, put all your sins upon me. Fuck him. Learn for yourself. Learn to deal with shit yourself. Quit being a fucking but dependent on people, you know? Sorry, I know I'm going a little crazy in this one, but okay. And there's this kid. Here, here, give me, this is an example. I'm at uh, a park and there's this kid there's two kids out there, and I'm walk, I walk out to the park, and I'm in graduate school, and, and I'm walking out to this park, and I'm doing some chin-ups and some push-ups and stuff, and then these kids, one kid could get across the monkey bars real easy. I mean, he was showing off, and he was good. The kid had some skills, no doubt. But the other kid, he didn't know if he could do it or not. He was like, I don't know if I can do that. I wish I could do that. I said, have you ever tried it? No. I said, put your hands up there and feel it. And he started doing it, I said, do it. And he was looking at me for confidence. Can I go the next level? Yeah, do it. Do it. I just kept giving him confidence that he needed. And he crossed old monkey bars. It was so amazing to see that kid but do something he didn't think he could do or didn't have the confidence that he could do. And he goes, he was so excited. It was like a little piece of heaven right there in earth. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, that, was, that made me feel awesome to give somebody the courage that they needed, you know? And... He's like, oh, God, I can't wait to go home and tell my dad I crossed the monkey bars. He was just jazzed up. The kid that crossed it the first time, he didn't need it. He didn't need confidence. He was showing off. He actually needed to be humbled a little bit. And it was just... Kids need to be outside. They need to be learning reality. They need to be dealing with reality. And I lived in this one neighborhood with this kid. He was always picking up frogs. He was picking up this. He, he just loved biology. And I, I don't think he ever read anything in books. He just he just loved seeing it and messing with it. And I said, man, that kid is going to be a biologist. I just knew it. And I seen his brother the other day, and he's, the kid's finally grown up. And I said, I bet your brother's a biologist. And he said, yep. I mean, some people, you can just tell what they're going to do. Like when I was a kid, I asked questions all the time. I would drive my parents crazy. We'd be in the car like, why is that that way? You know, and they they'd finally be mean to me, and I'd soul up and go, yeah, screw y'all. Y'all are dumb. You don't want to just... It's ridiculous, really. Seriously, schools are pain in the ass, and you ain't gonna have you ain't gonna have a good school until you have enlightened people teaching it. You can't have a bunch of half-ass people who barely scrape by college teaching people and have any. And they think, oh, I just have to know more than they know. No, you don't. You have to be a freaking genius to read people, figure out what they're thinking, what they're doing, what they need to know. It, it, it takes an amazing person to be an amazing teacher. And we've all had a teacher here or there that was halfway amazing. But still, the system was designed to break people down. I ain't saying designed intentionally. It was designed out of stupidity to make it a boring-ass system, which even makes great teachers just break down over time. So, I mean, it's just... I don't know. I don't like school, to be honest. I hate it with a passion. Like I said, I love learning. I hate school. I know I've been a lot, but I just had to rent it out. Later, folks.